What's up guys, Shadow here, uh, coming back to you with some additional firearms and firearm safety related videos. Today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite carry pistols, which is the 6 Hour P365 XL. Um, I got one sitting here, it's sitting in my four brothers uh, holster, uh, which I actually have a, a TLR7 subcompact light on the end of it, that's why I have this special holster for it. Um, this has become one of my personal favorite carry guns, uh, and I, I take it pretty much every time I go out of the house. Uh, so let's get right into it. We'll just go ahead and uh, evaluate it. All right, so as you can see, I'm at least 60% more dog today. Um, got the paws on, got the fursuit on. I'm feeling real good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try this and see how we can do uh, with the paws on in terms of field stripping and demonstrating the, the firearm. Um, now this is, of course, one of my carry guns. So this is the one that I take with me every day. Uh, I keep this loaded pretty much all the time. And as we said in the last video, uh, one of the things we want to make sure we demonstrate is firearm safety at all times. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unload the firearm. Now to do that, with a uh, in the last video we, we talked about the AR-15, removing the magazine and pulling back on the charging handle. It's going to be a similar thing uh, with this polymer frame P365XL. Uh, the only difference is obviously we don't have a charging handle, we have a slide on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we keep it pointed in a safe direction at all times. And we're going to take our magazine out and we'll pull back on the slide and validate that the chamber is clear. The chamber is clear. I'll show you here. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and get rid of this live ammo, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit. Okay, we're back. So I have 86 of the live ammo. There is no more live ammo anywhere on the table space, uh, which is always good when we're going to talk about firearms. This is, of course, an aftermarket holster for the P365 XL with a TLR7 light on there. Um, as I mentioned, of course, I have here my P365 XL with a TLR Streamlight subcompact. Uh, flashlight on the end of it. It's a particularly bright flashlight, so we have a whole bunch of light. Um, on the left side of the pistol, of course, we have our slide stop release and the front takedown lever. Um, there's not a whole lot going on with any given particular pistol. Uh, they tend to be a lot more simple than rifles and things like that. Um, in a pistol, you're going to have a couple of key features, which I'm going to take a paw off and run the magic to demonstrate this just to show you. Of course, we have our magazine well in the bottom, which is where the magazine is going to get inserted into the firearm. We have, of course, the trigger guard, just like the rifles. We have the trigger itself, which can vary depending on the firearm, but it's almost always going to be in that same general area. On the other side, of course, we have our slide stop release here, and then we have the front takedown pin. Now, takedown on this particular firearm is actually pretty easy. Uh, we're going to demonstrate it with my paws on. Actually, so takedown on the P365XL. Let's start with it in the closed position. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cock the pistol back and lock the slide open. The second thing we're going to do is raise this up a little bit. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to lower the front takedown lever until it looks like that. You can see it's lower down there. And then we're going to slowly bring the slide forward and take it off of the frame. And that's it. So now we have our, our upper assembly, our slide, and then our frame as well. Within the slide, we're going to pull the recoil spring out, which looks a little bit like that. And then we're going to slide the barrel forward and pull it up out. And that's going to leave us with four pieces. And I'll tilt this camera down a little bit to show that a little better. So we can see our frame, our recoil spring, our barrel assembly, and our slide. Reassembly, fairly straightforward. Insert the barrel in. Make sure you line it up correctly. All right, so that it goes in the battery. And then we're going to put our spring back in. Now this only goes in one direction, so you want to make sure that you get it line properly. The other thing that I've noticed with this particular spring is sometimes it really doesn't like to be uh, lined up 
incorrectly. If it's lined up at a 45 degree angle, it may not necessarily uh, fire correctly. It might, well, it'll fire correctly, but it, the accuracy may be wildly off. And then the next thing we're going to do is take our slide, line it up with our rails. This is very hard to do because I'm a dog. Bring it all the way back. And of course, pop that takedown lever out. And that's it. We now have reassembled our Polymer 365 XL handgun. And that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing apart uh, without my first two claws on just because I want to make sure I get all the fur out of it because uh, it's a little bit dunked up. So loading and unloading the handgun works similar to the AR-15. The only difference is instead of the charging handle, we're going to pull back on the slide and release it. It's going to take a round off the magazine, load it into the chamber, and you sight it and fire it. Hope you guys enjoyed this very short video, a lot shorter than last time. Um, we're going to bring cooler things along the way here. We'll talk about sight pictures and things like that in some future videos. But uh, as always, stay safe, stay shooting, have a great night.